look at this bike. 1974 CB360. You can see the VIN right here. Zoom in there. C74. So this one I actually got for free, or I should say it was offered to me for free. I gave the guy a hundred bucks. Um, so the story goes, the guy that owned this had it in a storage unit for like over six years. I guess he used to ride this thing. I don't know how because I mean the tires <laughs> are like completely bald on it. Look at that. I mean, this is probably the worst bike I've ever seen. Look at how bald those tires are. So, blinkers are broken off on it. So, apparently you rode it without blinkers. This thing does not have a title. So, I just rode it illegally on the road. Um... But yeah, she's in rough shape. She's in really, really rough shape. There are 16,000 miles on it. 16,373 miles on it. Gauges are actually not too bad. But it's, it's really, really rough. It looks to me like it was sitting longer than six years, unless the guy rode it in this condition. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty rough. But I figured it was worth a hundred bucks, so I offered him a hundred bucks and said, you know, it is what it is. I'll try to get it running. But to me, it was probably worth a hundred bucks the way it sits. I know some of these parts you can sell. So I, I don't think I'll take a loss if we can't get it to run. <laughs> um, and they're, they're pretty cool bikes, pretty desirable bikes, you know, in running good condition. This one's obviously I think past that point, but yeah, quick walkthrough of everything. Chrome is a little bit rough, a lot of dents in the fender. Brakes are non-existent on it. You can see it was leaking out brake fluid all over the place. So that's not working at all. Clutch feels pretty smooth. Got horn, lights for high and low, blinkers. Not really sure what this thing is. Looks like an alarm system of some sort. Very interesting. It's got the high beam, the turn, and the neutral lights. Seat cover is missing, so I'm guessing he rode it like that as well. Pipes don't look too bad, not dented or anything. So those might clean up actually. It looks like there's a weld back here on it. Uh, battery obviously doesn't work. Missing the air box, the carburetor. Um, yeah, she's just really rough. So is the horn right there. Rear brake looks like it's working. So it does have one brake. Tail light's still there. License plate's there. April of uh, 2012. So that was 10 years ago. It was last registered. Probably last ridden 10 years ago then. Chain guard's still on there. Chain is a little bit rusty and loose. It looks like it was running poorly. Look at all the oil build up. <laughs> oh yeah, she was uh she was she was beat on pretty good. Tank is in fair condition. I think they'll look pretty good cleaned up. A little dent right here, looks like. Headlight's still on it. Oh my gosh, this gas tank is terrible. Check this out. Holy, look at that rust in there. Jeez. Oh man, that is really bad. Oh, there's still gas in there too. It's hard to see, but yeah, she is really rough. I don't know, guys. This one's going to be tough. This one's going to be really tough. But we'll try our best to save her. 
see if we can make it happen. That gas thing's gonna be a challenge. Let's see, the seat, key for the seat fits right here. Oh, it works still, there we go. The seat comes off. I should have a hinge right there that's missing. And then, let's see. Looks like everything's hooked up properly here. Fuse box. Fuses look good. Cool. So, I think what we're gonna do is jump this battery, see if anything lights up. And uh, I guess we'll attempt to get this thing to fire up today. All right, let's get jumper pack on the battery. See if anything turns on. Any lights flicker or anything. Anything would be good. Let's see here. All right, we've got the key down here. Where'd the key go to? It's over here. All right, let's just see what happens. Key is right here. Oh, the neutral light lit up. Look at that. Does the horn work? Probably not enough juice. Oh, blinker's working. It's not flashing. That one's working. This side does not look like it's working. So, headlight doesn't appear to be working. I think it has to be running in order for that to work. Let's see if the, the tail light works here. Oh yeah, that's working, cool. So most of the lights work. Let's move on and uh, check the spark plugs out. So it looks like this bike does have electric start. At one point at least it did. You can see the button's missing over here for it. This is start right there. Huh. Feels like it has compression. We might get lucky with this one. All right, let's take a look at the plug here. See what's going on. Kind of loose in there. So maybe there was a full plug and that's why you put it away for the last 10 years, could get it to run. I don't know. Let's see what the plug looks like here. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Really no carbon built up on it. Looks like it was running okay at one point. So that's good. Put this here for now. Let's get some lubrication going in there. This thing probably hasn't been lubed up for the past 10 years, so before we start kicking it over, <laughs> gotta get a little oil in there. Don't wanna scratch the cylinder. Those rings are probably stuck. At least maybe a little bit. We'll go on to the next uh, spark plug and then we'll check for spark. All right, on to the other side here. Let's see what this one looks like. Both the same. Again, no carbon built up or anything. Looks like it was running pretty decent. Not too lean. Doesn't look too rich or anything. That's good. Again, a little bit of lubrication down this side. Before we start kicking it over a thousand times. All right, get those cylinders lubed up there. All right, without further ado, let's see if we've got spark. We've got spark in good shape. All right, ignition to on. Battery on. Let's see here. 
Not even sure if you need a battery for this bike to start it, but we'll see. Oh yeah. That looks like some good start to me. All right, so the right cylinder has good spark. Let's go over to the left. Ooh, the headlight's working too. Now we've got a working headlight as well. Sweet. All right, let's see what happens when we kick it over here. Can't see anything. Oh yeah. Good spark. Spark plugs now. That is awesome. All right, so we got the gas lines off of the petcock. This one went towards the back, the back uh, nipple over here. And the right went to the left side nipple right here that you can see. So I'm kind of curious as to uh, what the color of the gas is in there. Let's just see how bad this is. If anything comes out at all. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. Nothing at all? Really? It must just be crusty in there, because I saw gas in there. Wow. Not a single drop. That's pretty crazy. Well, what we can do is twist off that and just see if anything comes out. Oh, I don't want to take the whole pet pack off. <laughs> Should be interesting. How crusty is it going to be? Ooh. So look at that crustiness that was in there. All that rust. The gas color is just completely rust colored so there's no way this thing ran in the last 10 years I mean unless there's a miracle but look in there gross so I can only imagine what the carbs look like that'll be fun to clean out so that gas tank needs some major help <laughs> Let's get this gas tank off of here. There's a lot of gas in there. Looks like all the wires are intact, everything's good over here. Looking good. All right, before we start tearing into the carburetor, I just wanna check the oil out. See what's in there. Holy, wow. Woo. Pretty black. Let's see if there's the right amount in there. Oh, perfect amount of oil. Yeah, she's gonna be pretty black though. At least there's some in there. It says to use 10W40. 
SAE 10W40, what it calls for. There's oil in it, that's a good sign. Let's now do a compression test on this thing. We've got to do each cylinder with the throttle open. We'll see if this thing has enough compression to run. All right, we'll get our compression tester in there. Where do we want to put this? Do, do, do. Gauge. Let's see what we get. Throttle open. Oh, well, throttle works. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Over 100, that's good. Almost 180. I'd say that's pretty good. All right, so that side's got 180. All right, we're at the left side now. Let's see what we got here. You guys watch the gauge. See what we get. Throttle open. Here we go. What did we get here? 170, so a little bit less than the other side, but that could be because of the oil we put down the cylinder, so. I'd say that's pretty good. It'll definitely run on 170 and 180. All right, so we just loosened up the two clamps right there. I was able to get it to kind of come out. Let's see which way it can come out of the bike here. Yeah, there we go, that wasn't so bad. That and just a ten millimeter to loosen that up. Oh, there we go. Oh, these are some heavy carburetors, but they're free. So let's get these on the bench. We'll see if any gas pours out of them. All right, here we go. We've got the carburetors here. Let's see if they're full of gas. Should be interesting to see what that gas looks like in there. All right. That one's on there. Okay. Here we go. Anything coming out? Nothing coming out, that is not a good sign. Oh, a drop came out. Oh boy, that is going to be bad. Oh, jeez. What was that stuff coming out of there? Oh, gross. Oh man, look at that. What is that? It's like really, really old gas. That's disgusting. It almost looks like they put a little oil in it. <laughs> it's not a two-stroke, dude. Okay, let me crack the other one here. 
That's crazy. These carbs are gonna be really, really bad on the inside. Hope we can save them. Oh man. Oh, that's all I had in there. Let's start with the right side carb first. Get the bowl off. You guys ready for this? It's gonna be horrible, I bet. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Jeez. That is cake. <laughs> oh, we go. That is crazy. We might need the ultrasonic cleaner for this one. Look at those jets in there. <laughs> They're completely clogged. Every single one of them. Crazy, crazy. This one is going to be challenging. All right, at least the flow wasn't rusted in. The needle is definitely stuck in there. So I can get that around the float here. Look at how crusty that is. That's pretty bad. That's really, really bad. There's the needle in there. Let's see if we can pull that out. like gunk in there. The needle doesn't look too bad. But it's just gunked up. Very badly. Oh, I don't know if these are going to come out. Oh, there we go. That guy completely clogged. All of these are completely clogged. Here's the pilot, I think, coming out. Pilot's pretty stuck in there. All right, so just got the fuel screw out. That was three turns out. Try to get that spring out of there. Everything is just really lodged in here. There's the spring. All right, let's take a look at the diaphragms up top. See if those are still savable. Here's the diaphragm. Doesn't look too bad. No rips or anything. Look at the needle. Just completely gunked up. It's crazy. So, that pretty much wraps up that carburetor. Um, you can see it's pretty rough. The gasket's broken too. So, I think this one's gonna need the ultrasonic cleaner. We'll see. Then we have another one to do. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so we'll try to get this cleaned up as best as we can, and uh, we'll get some fresh fuel flowing to it. Hopefully she'll start up. Looks like I need a bigger ultrasonic cleaner here. 
Um, but anyway, we've got this set to the highest temperature, and then we're going to be setting it to the longest setting here. I've already got this going, but we're using Simple Green Solution. It's a uh, cleaner and degreaser. This stuff works really, really well. We're going to be using this, and uh, hopefully these will be clean by the time we get them out. Alright, just spent the last three hours of my life cleaning out these carburetors, but we finally got them all cleaned out. All the jets are good to go, everything is clean, ready to be installed on the bike. That was a uh, very big job. It took forever to clean those out. Alright, carburetors are back installed, we've got gas going to it, we've got spark, we've got compression. Let's see if she fires up here. What do you guys think? Will she fire? Here we go. We're going to choke it. Turn it to on. Choke. Here we go. Fired up for a brief second. Put a little starting fluid down here. All right, let's try this again. gas. Oh yeah, she fired right up. Sounds pretty good actually. We just have to get a constant flow of gas going to it. The gas tank is leaking. I cleaned it out as best as I could, but it's leaking at the petcock, so we're not getting much gas to the carbs. So I had to manually fill up the carbs and that's what uh, made it start like that. But yeah, sounds pretty good. Not too shab. All right, I think we've got consistent flow here. So let's see what happens.
bad. Wow. With the gas tank hooked up. Look at that, idling, it's running okay, but um, I think that these carbs need the uh, air box to get that back pressure in order to run perfect. But I think we might just take this thing for a little rip. Um, obviously we gotta pump up the front tire and the rear tire. Things are so bald, it's gonna be such a sketchy ride, but we gotta at least ride this in once. Let's go test this thing out. All right, so it starts up like first kick every time now, pretty consistent. Um, we're gonna go take it for a ride around the yard quick and then possibly on the road. The tires are so bad that I don't even know if I wanna take it on the road, um, but we'll see. You can see how bad they are. They're just really, really bad. I pumped them up, they held air, but they're, they're really, really, really rough. Here we go, first test on the CB360. Let's see what happens, hopefully she starts here. Oh yeah. We're just gonna ride this thing around the yard, just because it's so sketchy. Definitely needs those um, air filters on there. See if the horn works. <laughs> you can hear it. Won't rev out. Off roading with this thing. These tires are so bad.
everything's working as it should here just won't rev out because of the air box and that's really the only problem holding it wide open there's second gear <laughs> Riding the CB360. Tack works, Speedo works, Horn works. Not too bad. I think it would run really good if it uh, had the airbox. First ride went pretty well. Um, obviously, we need the airbox for these carburetors uh, to work. So what it does is uses the pressure through here and then lifts up those diaphragms in there. So without anything blocking those, without any back pressure, those carburetors aren't going to work correctly. And we saw that on that one Banshee that I, that I had too with the, I think it was the 750 Banshee, the 650, same thing, doesn't work with these carburetors. So um, I really don't know how the guy drove it without the air filters. It's a mystery to me, but <laughs> I guess he went really slow. But yeah, everything worked on it. The tack, the speedo worked, um, the horn did work, the lights work. The only thing that doesn't work are the blinkers for the right side so everything else works on it not a bad bike i'm not going to spend much more time on it uh, this thing doesn't have a title so um, you can't really do much with it this is just going to go in storage and it will sit there for the rest of its life <laughs> so i wanted to save it one last time here at run and uh, we accomplished that i didn't think it was possible but it was so it was definitely worth it because it runs really, really good. Starts first kick, and uh, yeah, so not a bad machine. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for the next video. Vinny, what do you think? You like it? You want to sit on it, bud? Come on. Come on. Yeah. I know you do. I know you want to sit on it. Let's see. See if you like it, bud. See if you like it. <laughs> you look cool. Put your paws on the, the handlebars. I gotta teach Vinny to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> He's really smart, so I wouldn't doubt it if he could. His legs just aren't long enough. <laughs> Otherwise, I think he could. What do you think, dude? You like it? You like it, buddy? You look cool on it. Good job balancing. I think he likes it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one, and until next time, we are out.